you what I was supposed to get up out of the My name's Les Cove, and thank you for inviting me here to WA. Unfortunately, even though the rest of the world thinks that this here country is a civilised country, this is probably the most uncivilised country on the planet. These acts that they are perpetrating against Aboriginal people, destroying our communities, destroying our children, just trying to destroy our lives completely. What's actually going on here at the moment? This is the most important issue of our time. They are not happy with just killing us. They actually want to kill our will to live. They don't want our children to have a future in this country because they want us to disappear. That has always been the intent that they come in. They keep telling us they have good intentions. They have no good intentions towards us. Everything that they bring here is about domination and control of our lives. They're not happy just stealing all our, of our birthrights and our resources. They want to steal our future by stealing our children and destroying everything. They want to remove every, our, every little piece of evidence that we actually exist in this country. And by destroying our future, our kids, it's destroying the soul, the very spirit of this country. As I was saying, this is not the act of a civilised country. It is a barbaric act. Absolutely. They keep giving us symbols. Like the sorry business. They're not sorry for what, they, what, what happened in the past. Of course, they're doing it tenfold a day. The world is shocked by what's happening in the Middle East with the Islamic State. What Islamic State's doing over there and what's going on in this country, there is no difference. This is forced removal. And this is the ongoing genocide of Aboriginal people. My sister said something to me last night. And I believe that's what we have, all of us have got to do. We have to wake all of our people up. We have to let them know that this society is here to destroy us. And what we're saying also, we need to withdraw from that. In the sense we want civil, mass civil disobedience. Withdraw from all of, of government's activities. Anyone where they go in the community, the bureaucrats and that, do not deal with them, go away. And even say, send them in. get off the door, get off the benches. All they're doing is controlling our lives. And they're never going to let us get out of this cesspit of poverty that they have trapped us in. It is a never-ending cycle. And the only way we're going to get out of it, we've got to do that ourselves. They are not going to help us. And the only way we're going to do that, we've got to come together as a people. And we've got to let the whole world know the reality of this land. This is our land. We have been here for over 3,000 generations, not four or five. Our spirit belongs to this country, and that spirit will never die. They actually kill that, even if they kill us, the spirit will always live on. And what we are saying is, we want a future for our children. This fallacy of this country being the lucky country, it is not a lucky country for us anymore. This was our Eden 227 years ago. This was the only Eden on the planet. They, are turned, they have turned that Eden, our Eden, into our living hell. And we want out of that. No more. No more. We've had enough. And what we are also saying, we want for fish, other, violent activities. We were always a peaceful people. And we always extend, extend the hand of friendship. But they keep cutting that hand off. The very first time they came to our shores, Captain Cook, when they stepped on the shores at La Perouse, the very first act they did was shoot and kill an Aboriginal man. Today, even today, 
That man's shield is in a museum in England where the bullet went through the shield and into him. There's a hole in the shield and it's displayed. And it is displayed as a, as a symbol of the might of the empire and how it controls people like us by force and power. And what we are saying, we want our freedom. And our freedom, it means that we have to secede from this here. Governments, that we want our own country back, our own land, and our own resources. And what we are saying, we want sufficient resources for us to be able to support ourselves. We don't want your handouts. We want to be able to support ourselves in our own country right across this land. We want to be able to control our own communities. We want what they have given themselves. We don't want their riches at. We don't have those dreams. We don't want the million dollar dollars in our bank account. We just want to live. We're not happy with just this surviving and existing here. We want to live. And we want to live by our own ways. We want to be who we were born to be. I am Wiradjuri. I want my language. I want to live by my culture. I am my own God. And I want to educate our kids. And we want our mothers, all of our women, to be able to the basic human rights to be able to nurture and raise our own children. And to do that, we will need the resources to live in this country. Our resources that they keep ripping out of this country in all these mines. We had a meeting with the minister in Canberra and all he was concerned about was where the money was coming from. Cowan collectively spends $25 billion annually on keeping us entrapped in this poverty system. I'd be happy with just having half of that $25 billion. They can have the other 20 half and put it towards the debt. That 20, half of that $25 billion annually, Hawaii. annually, not just one or payment. Hawaii. And that is about paying the rent. These are illegal occupiers. These are all trespassing on our country and our land. The rape, village and plunder of our lives and our resources and our families has got to stop. We want that very basic right that every living thing wants. And that's the right to live. And that is by very basis of what they are trying to destroy within us, within all of us. And that is one of the most heinous crimes that has ever been committed on this planet, to destroy the very will to live. And as my sister was saying, the people that stand around us have a little humanity about yourself. Figure it, put yourselves in our shoes just for a little while. I mean, I know I'm grieving it, and I'm talking about an impossibility. But they don't care. They seem to enjoy inflicting pain and hardship upon us. What have we done as a people to deserve this? No. Believe me, we are all guilty. And our offence is that we're all born as Aboriginal people in our own country. And we want our freedom. No more.